Postmaster Renu for enlightening us as to why should we follow the traffic rules and how important each second of our life is through a wonderful incident, like, I mean, through a wonderful speech, but it was a bad incident, obviously. So thank you so much once again for that Postmaster Renu. Can we again hear a big round of applause for her? Uh, DTM Sampan Sampanajasar and uh, he is unique in his own way that's all I can say you know because I've observed him from right you know when I came here from day one so he say he loves company and he loves laughing and he loves making people laugh well I can see that because of the messages and all that he sends in our whatsapp group and you know makes our day really nice and next he says that he has no reason to avoid the crowd because the crowd can do what he wants but he does what he likes. And he also says that often what he does turns out to be unique in its own way. And next he says that it's not important to be different but it is essential to be yourself. And sometimes you may be different but even uniqueness does not mean trying to be different. So before we call DTM Sampan Sari Rajan Sir onto the stage, I would like to request his evaluator, Professor Thomas Abraham Sir, to read out the objectives. Hello, thank you everybody. This afternoon, DTM Sari Rajan, who is printing through, printing through his current uh, path for effective coaching, is going to do a project which is called Connect with Sorry. The name of his Talk, uh, the speech is Squad of the Locusts, and the time you have to miss five to seven minutes. All the best for So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for DTM Sampatsa. DTM Squad of Democrats, DTM Sampatsa. My dear friends, let me break the suspense of the title Stay the Way. It is printed out of a painting. This is Damocles acting as a, the king for one day, and this is a sword hanging. This is the myth on which I have based the title. As for the legend of Damocles, he wanted to be the king and he had an opportunity to be the monarch for one day. But there was a sword hanging above him, just hanging by a thin, single horse hair. He was terrified. He said, enough is enough, he quit even before the day was moved. But I was no monarch of Syracuse. I was a mere agent in Indaco Industries in 1998. But the sword hung above me and it fell too. Luckily, I survived. My dear Toastmasters, dear fellow Toastmasters, and guests, good afternoon. Good afternoon. In 1997, I came back from Bahrain and joined Hidalgo Industries. It is a Trenakut in Uttar Pradesh. Trenakut is a lovely, hilly place, right in the midst of jungles. To reach there, you have to go from Varnasi to 150 kilometers of pleasant journey crossing hills, valleys, and rivers. Of course, there are a lot of dogs and things. When I reached Delhi, I had a very poor reception. Bad omen. Even before going there, I had received a lot of threatening telegrams saying, don't come here. I understood they resented an outsider. They thought there were locals good enough. The very year was pregnant with ill will, reservation, and a readiness not to cooperate. But I was a friend. I didn't care. <laughs> Within one year, I set things straight one by one. And I could start some real good work. Let me introduce two people who worked with me there. One is Vibhuti Bhushan Maitan, a hardy, no-nonsense person. He was very serious at his job but ready to help anybody. We 
became friends immediately because he was an outsider too, hailing from Gadwal Uttarachal. The other person is a son of the soil, Ajit Kumar Singh from Jaunpur. He was very intelligent, good at English and good at work. He was always happy humming some old Bollywood numbers. I was positively impressed. But the unfortunate but. One night my telephone rang at home. The security chief told me Ajit Kumar has assaulted a colleague in the night shift. Fighters were taken to the hospital and the doctor noted Ajit was under drug influence. It seemed Saturn has stuck a couple of years before Ajit had fallen to drug addiction. He used to be weird for a few days at a stretch from time to time whenever he could manage to get the stuff. The next day, HR conducted an inquiry and handed him three days suspension. I had to sign and issue the paper. Ajit was very absolute. He took me as the villain. He thought I could have bailed him out. Those three days, he called me several times on the telephone at home and office, abusing me and threatening me. He came back silent and morose. Things were smoothing, but within two weeks, the assault was repeated. This time, he got two weeks suspension. More threatening calls, even predicting the date of my death. By now, I stopped worrying about it, but my wife was very upset. My colleague said, be very careful, this flow is bad chance. And then, one day, it happened. Something very heavy sucked me straight on my back, and I got stranded totally and started collapsing. Almost dead for the next 10 seconds. My then he shook me and said, Sir, sir, how are you? How are you? He made me sit down on the, by the side of the road where I was. He ran up the road. We had gone to visit an ailing Shashi Trivedi in the hospital. It was a hilly place. The hospital was at an elevation. After visiting, we were coming down the winding slope. At that time, from above the hospital level, from behind a tree, a big masonry block, a demolition product, came down and hit me. The lucky thing was, it didn't hit me on the head or shoulder or the neck. It hit me on the back on a flat way, in a tangential way. If it was not for that, most peaceful. Ajit Kumar Singh was identified as the person who ran away from the place and took his coat and rushed off. The HR dismissed him the same day. But after one more year, Dubai beckoned to me. I moved. Life goes on. My dear friends, leadership it is no easy game. Your superiors, colleagues and subordinates keep watching you all the time with displeasure, disrespect, distress, envy, wrath and even hatred. The sword of the numbers. 